always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Nice day again today, but we once again had wildfire smoke in the area and a bit of a breeze created a touch of a nuisance out of the lakeshore. We saw cold conditions for Lake Michigan temps, so not a lot of people got in the water, but it was one of those days where it was breezy enough at the lakeshore that we saw some strong currents out of Lake Michigan. Otherwise, a very quiet day. We once again have high pressure over us in a system that's spinning just off to the east. This has been a stuck weather pattern, and at most, we tried to squeak out a shower today, but it was very few and far between, and it had a problem making it to the ground. So here's what we're tracking. Our stuck pattern finally becomes unstuck this weekend, and we begin to see some movement. Rain is most likely on Sunday. A good portion of your Saturday, if not your entire Saturday, should be dry. And the rain, once it moves in, should stick around for Monday and Tuesday. After this passes, the long-term trend in general is leaning a bit on the dry side. So it's not like we're going to be seeing a complete flip to wetter than average again. It just is the movement of the system starting to kick back in. Here's Storm Track Live. Wanted to show you this shower as it's fading and tracking off to the south. At some points, we saw some decent reflectivities here, likely some lucky people getting a few precious raindrops. So checking in at the Battle Creek Airport, they did not report any precipitation aside from censoring a little light rain. Lows tonight down in the 40s. It's going to be a cool start to the day to Thursday. Beautiful day, breezy again in the afternoon. High fire danger once again. High temperatures up near 76 for tomorrow. And then Friday, another comfortable day. High temperatures in the upper 70s. Should be seeing a few clouds from time to time. Air quality, likely going to be continuing to see lower air quality in West Michigan, with most of the smoke consolidated over on the east side of the state, if not the east coast. Here's a fresh look at the smoke plume, and you can see we're smack dab in the center of it again. So wildfire smoke is expected to continue for the next two days, even though our forecast would otherwise be blue sky. As for Saturday, I want to show you the future cast. You can see a few scattered showers moving in very late. Most of this actually trending in closer to Sunday. Sunday starts a little on the dry side, but right now shower activity looks like it should be moving in through the heart of the day. And in terms of amounts, again, looking pretty promising that we should at least pick up a half an inch, if not a full inch of fresh rainfall Sunday, Monday into Tuesday. Weekend planner, 83 for Saturday, 72 for Sunday. So Saturday will be the warmer and the drier of the two days. We hold in the 70s for Monday and Tuesday, and then we see a few more shower chances later on next week. So finally, we're starting to see things move a little bit uh, closer to average this time of year with some movement in our forecast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, break it up a little bit. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Helen.